Welcome to the Master Cars Pro channel. Today we talk about the problems and weaknesses of this wonderful car. We are starting with the power units as usual. The line of Kia Serata power units consists of three gasoline engines and one diesel. Gasoline 1.6, J4ED and J4FC, 1.8, J4GB and 2.0, J4GC, turbo diesel 1.6, D4FD. Looking ahead, I will say that gasoline engines do not have serious problems with reliability. Of the characteristic elements inherent in all units, one can single out the unreliability of the hoses and the radiator of the cooling system, on average their service life is 5-6 years. Also, the modest resource of engine modes 100 and 150,000 km and attachments, and attachments should be attributed to common problems. Often bearings fail at a run of 150-200,000 km. The 1.6 engine is represented by two series of the old Alpha 2 and the Neva Gamma. The first, like other gasoline units, is equipped with a timing belt drive, which is complemented by an intershaft short chain and hydraulic valve clearance compensators. The second in the drive of the gas distribution mechanism has a reliable metal chain, but there are no hydraulic lifters. The main disadvantage of the J4ED engine is its excessive noise. Poorly functioning hydraulic lifters and an intershaft chain are often the cause of noise. Of the weak points, one can single out the unreliability of the ignition system, with a malfunction of which jerks and twitching appear, and also the propensity of the motor to oil. Another weak point is, gas is the gasoline pump, which is located under the rear seat. It does not die immediately, but begins to supply fuel intermittently, especially if it overheats in the heat. Many owners first spent a lot of time and money on, on diagnostics. Many owners first spent a lot of time and money on diagnostics, uh, change, change many accompanying parts before replacing a seemingly working gasoline pump. Of the little things, you can highlight the current valve cover gasket. The main problem with a 122 horsepower engine is the catalyst, which begins to deteriorate after 100,000 km, while its particles enter the cylinders and significantly accelerate their wear. Also, weak points include the valve cover and cylinder block gaskets, crankshaft and input shaft oil seals. Due to the fact that the engine does not have hydraulic lifters, it is necessary to adjust the wells every 80 to 100,000 km. It is not worth delaying this procedure, as this negatively affects the cylinder head race, as this negatively affects the cylinder head resource. Among other troubles, flowering idle speed can be known, to eliminate which, in addition to replacing spark plugs and cleaning the throttle, it may be necessary to update the ECU software. The resource of the units is about 300,000 km. The 1.8 and 2.0 engines, although they belong to the Beta 2 series, have a similar design to the weakest 1.6 liter unit. The timing belt uses a belt, which is recommended to be changed along with the rollers at least once every 60,000 km in order to avoid breakage, bent valves and other troubles. These motors do not have the most successful hydraulic belt tensioner. Because of this, during a cold start there is a risk of belt slip, especially if the oil is at the yield point. In addition, these engines are famous for their high operating noise, vibrations, jerks, uh, dips during acceleration and unstable idle. Most of the troubles can be eliminated by replacing the spark plugs, explosive wires and the ignition coil, but the speed hang up is eliminated only by fireware. High mileage cars may have corrosion on the cast iron block its bolts and studs, which can play a cruel joke when trying to repair the unit. The 1.6 liter diesel engine was intended for the European market and is not often found here. This unit is no less reliable than gasoline engines, but at the same time it has better dynamics and, and efficiency. The main problems with the motor as a rule are caused by untimely maintenance and the use of low quality diesel fuel. From the weak points of the engine, one can single out the unreliability of the boost sensor, or rather the contact in its wiring. The resource of the engine is 300-400,000 km. Two gearboxes were provided for mechanics with 5 steps and 4 speed automatics. A common ailment of the transmission is the unreliability of the embers of the drive shafts. If you do not follow them to 120,000 km, the outer CV joint can make noise. With a timely change of inverse and renewal of the lubricant, the shafts can withstand up to 200,000 km. The weak points of the mechanical transmission 
includes the release bearing since it wrestles rarely exceeds 100,000 km. Closer to 150,000 km, the clutch mustard cylinder begins to flow. The original clutch with adequate operation can last 150 to 100,000 km. For cars with a diesel engine, the clutch serves 100-150,000 km. There are also complaints about the operation of the manual transmission lubrication system. The box itself painfully endures tough operation, slipping, shock during shifting and heavy loads. In such cases, as a rule, bearings, differential, synchronizers and other elements failed. Among other troubles, one can single out the presence of the problems with oil seals. The automatic transmission has proven to be more reliable than the mechanics, with timely maintenance and capable operation, this transmission can serve up to 300,000 km without repair. On the first generation Kia Serata, an independent suspension structure with anti-roll bars is used, on the front axle McPherson, on the rear a multi-link. The chassis of the car is quite reliable, simple and inexpensive to repair. In good condition, the suspension has a good level of comfort, but the behavior of the car on the road can be criticized, where a body rolls on sharp turns. The main disadvantage of the chassis is its noise. Even slight wear of part is almost always accompanied by the presence of extra new salt. Of the weak points, in addition to the bushings and stabilizer struts, one can distinguish not very strong front wheel bearings and front struts. If you do not slow down on broken sections of the road and overload the car, the shock absorbs will quickly give up and the rear springs may also need to be replaced. With careful handling, the shock absorbers can last about 150,000 km. Both joints and silent blocks of the front levers serve about the same. Rear suspension consumables can withstand 100-150,000 km under moderate loads. The paintwork is of a good quality, due to which quite a few copies are presented in the secondary market in a good, for their age, cosmetic condition. There are no significant complaints about the iron of the car body panels. Despite the absence of galvanizing, the metal from which we are made does not badly withstand the onslaught of redhead disease. However, there are certain problems. So, for example, the metal begins to bloom quite quickly in places of paint chips. The hood and edge of the roof of the car are considered especially vulnerable in this regard. Considering the class and cost of this car, one can note the good quality of finishing materials and interior assembly as well as pleasant interior design, which has retained its relevance even after so many years. Of the weak points here, it is worth highlighting the mediocre wear resistance of the steering wheel braid and not the best quality of the front seat filler. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback what will help viewers when choosing a car. I am done. Thank you all very much for your attention. I'm very grateful to you if you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. See you soon!